you have to ask yourself why it is you are dating. What is your intention? What do you want? Because if you want to have kids and you want to be married and you are of childbearing age, so let's say you're in your 30s, yet you are wasting your time with men that are not showing any sort of interest, actually said they're not interested in you or showing up with zero action, you are literally wasting your time. And quality women don't do that. Quality, high value women move with intention. They know what it is they want and they don't base that based on what society says. They make their own rules. They decide what they want and they move toward that in every aspect of their life and in every relationship because they don't want to waste their time. You want to ask yourself, why are you dating? What is the purpose behind you moving into dating? Are you doing it for fun? Do you want to have kids? And how old are you? Age very much matters. Whether you like it or not, it matters. As women, we don't have all the time in the world as men do. We have certain years that are very important. And if we do not move with intention within those years, if we want children, we are going to waste our time. And as a woman ages, if she doesn't take care of herself, if she loses her radiance and her playful aspects, she becomes less desirable to men. And that is just the truth. Femininity is a woman's radiance. And when you don't take care of yourself and you don't nurture that aspect of yourself and you become more and more bitter, your dating pool, it really drastically shrinks. Because quality men, the number one thing they're looking for is for a woman's femininity. You have to move with intention. You don't want to let a few men make you bitter. If one man is not committing to you because your intentions don't line up, that's okay because there's gonna be another man that is ready and available to meet you where you're at. But if you waste your time chasing men that don't wanna be with you or that don't want kids, you are going to end up wasting years and years of your time. And not only that, you're going to become bitter and you're gonna become resentful. And then what's gonna happen is your heart is gonna close and then you're not going to meet a man that actually sees you for who you are. You're going to waste all of your precious years. I knew in my heart that I wanted to be a wife. I left the law firm. And so I was moving with that purpose. And when I was meeting men on dating apps, I was carrying myself as a woman that wanted to be a wife and wanted to be married. I would not waste my time with men that are separated. Men said that they were in marriages, but they were separated. So why would I waste my time with a man that is still legally married? I wouldn't waste my time with a man that just came out of a relationship because of course he hasn't done his own healing work. I wouldn't be with a man that didn't want marriage. Why would I want to be with a man that didn't want marriage when that is what I wanted? So it's important to move with the intention of what you want because otherwise you won't gain that sort of result. If you're a woman and you're in your 30s and you have met a man uh, several years ago and you were dating and let's say it just hasn't moved into a, a higher stage of commitment. A higher stage of commitment is engagement. This man is not serious about you and you want a child, then you are wasting your time. And I can tell you that this man does not care about you because a man that cares about you is not going to waste your time. If he knows that he cannot give you what it is that you want, he's going to let you go because he cares enough about you to not waste your time. This man does not care about you. And the more that you pine over him and you try to appease him and jump through hoops to make him like you, the more that you are setting yourself up for disappointment because you are not doing your own healing work. If you don't do your own healing work, you're just going to keep attracting these same type of men Why over and over. Dating? What is your intention? Do you want to get married? Do you want to have a family? Do you want to have kids? You get to decide what it is that you want in your life. Society doesn't dictate that. Your family doesn't dictate that. You get to decide what it is that you want. You have to know what it is that you want. You got to know what you want. You can't move into dating without intention because you're going to remain single. Many of you have no idea what it is that you want and therefore you move into situations absent-minded and you waste your time. Our years are super critical and very important. It is very different from a man. In terms of femininity, our radiance, our radiance is everything to a man. To a man, he's not looking for a woman that is ambitious, successful, has all the money in the world. He's not looking for that if the radiance is not there, if the femininity is not there. And if you waste your time 
with men that hurt your self-esteem, hurt your self-worth, and not because their fault necessarily, because again, everything is us. We are not victims in our life. If we are choosing men that are not seeing us the way in which we want to be seen, and we're available for that, that can't be the man because we create our reality. And so if we create our reality, there's something there that we need to look at and ask ourselves why we are choosing that. If we choose men that do not see us the way that the divine sees us, the way that our higher self sees us, the way that our soul sees us, because when we're trapped in our ego programming, we don't see our divinity. And then we choose men that also don't see that divinity within us. When we are chasing men, it hurts our self-esteem. We're adding trauma into our body. We're adding shame, guilt, negative trauma in our body. And what happens with our radiance is we start to close. We close our heart. And when we close our heart, we're not radiant anymore. Years and years of this, a woman's radiance, her elegance, her essence starts to diminish. Her aura, her light diminishes. As a man ages, a man becomes more successful, earns more money, becomes more distinguished and more handsome, and his pool widens. The older women get, the longer they've been single, the longer they've had bad luck in relationships, the more desperate they become for men. And so when they meet a man they think is established, handsome, they become very desperate for this man. Their energy, their verbiage, she'll be too nice. Being too nice is dimming your light because you don't believe that a man can see you as you are. When you're being too nice, that is not coming from your radiance, that is coming from your desperation. And what will happen is when the man starts to ghost you because you are overly available, you are too interested and he feels that and he starts ghosting you or he pulls away, what happens is now you add that on. So you add this other layer of trauma onto your body and now you become more angry and you become more bitter. And so you really want to move with intention. What is it that you want? When you move with intention, you can identify men that also want the same thing as you. Masculine men, high value men are not going to necessarily reveal their intentions to a woman that they feel it unsafe to do that with. All men want a committed relationship and want to be with one woman and want to have a wife. All men want that. Every single man wants that. This is hardwired in our DNA. A man might not necessarily be looking if he has other endeavors that are going on, but I can tell you that if he meets that woman, every man has a idea of what type of woman it is that they would want. And every man wants a feminine woman, a woman that is radiant, happy, peaceful, brings joy to his life. Every man wants this woman, even if their intention is not to get married at that time because they're focused in their career or whatnot. When they meet a woman like that, you better believe they're not going to let her go. They just won't. That being said, it's important to keep in mind your intention when you're moving into dating, but hold loosely the idea that all men want commitment. All men want to be with one woman and they will if they find that woman. The reason that you see a lot of men not committing is because it's very rare to find a woman that is radiant. And it is very rare to find a woman that is feminine and moves with intention, moves with high value, moves with class and knows who she is and isn't bitter and angry and resentful and jealous. The more that you move without purpose and without intention, the more bitter you become as a woman. It's really important to not waste your time because of your ego on men that are not interested in you. So many women will work with me and it'll be because of this one guy, this one guy that got away. And even if I can understand and see why the man pulled away or disappeared because oftentimes if a man is pulling away, we are in our masculine energy or our energy just doesn't feel good to a man or to a person and so naturally a man is going to move away from us. I don't do victims. I'm always going to look at you first. I'm always going to look at myself first. If you want a successful life and you want to be in a successful relationship, you can't look at the other person. You got to look at yourself first. You got to do the inner work to shift your outer reality. You can't just blame the man. If there's a pattern of men not wanting to be with you, it can't be the man. You got to look at yourself. I can understand why it is that a man will move away from this type of woman. But once we've done our inner work and the man is still not showing up, 
There's a lot of other things that are going on in terms of the dynamics because the man might be more in his feminine, the woman might be more in her masculine. Whatever the case is, if a woman is wanting marriage and wanting children and she's in her 30s, yet this man is not moving in alignment with that and so he's not moving with that intention and the woman is trying still to get something from this man, her self-esteem is going to plummet because she's trying so hard to make this man see her when he's incapable of seeing her because that's not something that he might even want. Even if he does want that and you're not the right woman for him, moving on to a man that doesn't see you in the way that your divinity sees you is going to create more trauma and it's going to hurt your self-esteem. There is going to be a man that is going to see you the way that your divinity sees you, your soul sees you, and the longer that you waste with men that don't see you in that way, the more that you are you dim your light. A man is going to propose within a year. My fiance proposed within seven months because when a man knows that you are right, he's going to do his best to make sure that he doesn't lose you. And it does not matter what is going on in his life if you are the right woman. If you are the right woman, if he's busy, if he has a business, if he has kids, whatever is going on, if you are the one and he knows that you are high value, quality woman, you are moving with intention, and so you are not wasting your time in a relationship that is not leading to marriage, and you're gonna walk away, he will commit to you, he will propose. All these excuses that men make, they're making it because you're not the one, or you're not showing up in a certain way. You have to ask yourself what it is that you want, before you can even put anything on the man. If you want marriage and you want to have kids, then you have to move with that intention when you're on a dating app. You have to ask those questions and you don't want to ask questions in a expectation, resentful, angry way because of course a man is not going to give you the response that you want. He's not even going to tell you the truth. And so in the books, I outline how to date, how to be feminine. In the inner work course, you get to look at yourself, you get to examine yourself because if you keep experiencing the same situations over and over again, I hate to say it, it's not the other person. There's something going on within you because we are magnets. Our external environment is a reflection of our internal environment. So your intention, first of all, matters very much. If my relationships are not a source of intimacy, giving, learning, growth, and instead they are filled with drama and taking energy from me and they're depleting. That is not in alignment with what I want in my relationships and so I will let those relationships go. If you do not move with the intention of uh, what it is that you want, you're not going to get the result that you want because again, your intention creates your reality. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one.